So how's your day going? It's going fantastic, actually. I'm a positive guy today. I started wrestling when I was four, and I actually started because I watched my high school brother wrestle, and I just like got so inspired by that, and it's been almost 16 years now. The success I had in wrestling, it really just showed how much work I put in, and it paid off because I was a state champion when I was little here in Michigan, and I wrestled all over the country. My family was so into wrestling, just they would constantly make me go. They'd be so into it for me. Like, if I didn't have motivation, they'd give me it. My parents loved to see me win. I'd say wrestling gave me a lot of confidence. When I was little, it kind of gave me a persona, someone that I could be in the outside world, just I'm a wrestler, I'm good at it, I know who I am type of thing. It made me feel special. Going into high school, as a wrestler, I thought I was going to be a four-time state champ. I thought I was going to be top of the podium every year. But my junior year, went to the state tournament, going to the finals, and it was just a, it was a brawl. At the end of the second period, I had him on his back flat for like five seconds, and the ref never called it, so that's all she wrote. He rode me out in the third period, and I didn't get the title that year. My senior year, I thought for sure I was going to win it. As a senior, I was the big dog. It just, like, I had a lot of confidence going into my senior year. And then I think it was the day right before state, so we were literally about to drive to the hotel. We get a call, oh, your team got busted for COVID. None of you can participate in state. So I never got to go to team state or individual state to win my senior state title. My mom was, I know a lot of people say this, but my mom definitely was one of the best mothers you could have. Like, she would lay out my clothes in the morning. She would do anything I asked. Like, just so loving and caring and selfless. And I think I credit a lot of my good qualities to my mother. She instilled a lot of good things in me. My mom was the loudest person in the stands, man. Go, Bo! She would scream and, ah, man, she would, like, get so nervous before my match, way more nervous than me. And, you know, she was a good time to have around. My mom passed in the summer between high school and college. I came home and got the call that something was wrong with her, and we rushed over there. You know, I tried to resuscitate her, and it didn't work. The policeman came, got her, had the whole funeral. The best way I could describe it to someone to have a parent pass is your life is a page of paper. And when someone dies, you kind of rip it in half, crumbling this side up, and throwing it away. You never get to see that piece of paper again. You never get to talk to it, tell it you miss it, nothing. So I felt like my li half my life got ripped away, and I'll never be able to talk to it again. When I lost my mom, I was like just wondering, how the heck am I going to do this? How am I going to go to college? How am I going to pay for it? How am I going to be organized, keep my life in check? Like, How am I, how am I going to do this? I, I don't got a mom anymore. Moving forward... Uh, what really helped me was God, and I've been a Christian my whole life, and before my mom passed, I, you know, I really researched into Christianity and got a close bond, but after my mom passed, it was like I was reborn, you know. I spent most of my time just falling into religion, giving all my faith to God, and it really helped. It really just forced me to become independent. It forced me to be able to take care of myself, stick up for myself, be my own sense of happiness, be there for myself, you know, be my own relationship in a sense. Like, I probably would not be the same person I am today without God or without the good characteristics my mom gave me. College wrestling is so much better in the sense that everybody on the team cares. Uh, they don't have to care every day, but everybody cares about wrestling, you know. 
when you're with your good buddies, the people you grind with, the people you're in that mat with, you know, it makes it, it's more of a family than friends, really, so everybody's so close, everybody loves each other, everybody would stop what they're doing and help out our, our men, so it, it's a good atmosphere. I love wrestling here. I love wrestling in general, so just to have a bunch of other dudes that love it is nice. Even though I lost a mother, I gained 30 brothers.